Now, for those of you who are really interested, um, could you get a close up of this? This is an adjustable choke, uh, I beg your pardon, adjustable headspace gauge for a 450 400 double rifle. And if any of you can figure out how to use it, I'd like to know. <laughs> well, there you are. Well, it's a, it's a bloody cold spring around a, around a bloody cartridge case. <laughs> Kidding, aren't you? No, no, not really. <laughs> <laughs> well, Jack, I'll leave you to figure out how no. to use it. <laughs> no, you, you, you can have it. I mean, well, I mean uh, uh, our way of doing it, you, you can't use your space on the double rifle, rim it, rim it, and as long as it was level, that's all that's right. <laughs> well, is there any, any more on choke, Jack? Huh? Have you got any more interesting people on choke? Well, as I say, chokes, as I say, they, they, they too. I mean, of course, there's different kind of chokes. I mean, yeah. the, I mean, the, the old, the good old standard was, was like it used to be an, an inch of parallel, an inch of cone kind of thing, but you can have chokes three inches long, uh, four inches long, and what have you, uh, or you can have chokes just right in the edge, half an inch long or whatever. There's all kinds of uh, lengths like that, and there's, there's, there's recessed chokes or juggle, oops, sorry, lead. There's, there's, no, I mean, there's, there's, re there's, there's recessed chokes where, the, where, the, where they have a, a little, Mm -hmm. uh, widening where they put like that kind of thing, recess choke or a jug choke. Uh, if you in the UK, if you ask for, if you ask for, um, if you ask for skateboarding, you know, what you get was just a straight straight ball, no choke choke at all. Here in America, we've got we've got skeet one and skeet two. Which is you've got improved silicon kind of twelve gauge on uh, improved cylinders nine thousands oh, oh, oh nine and then the other just in front of that you've got skeet two oh, it's skeet two and then the other side of it you've got skeet one skeet one which is I think is five this is about eleven here oh eleven if I remember right. They don't have these, these in the UK. If you ask for skateboarding, you've got cylinder, you see? And so there are, there are there's differences now. You, in the UK, a full choke, full choke was 40 thousandths. A, a, a three quarter choke was 30. A half choke was 20. Uh, it, a quarter was 10 and improved cylinder was five thousandths. That was it. Here we've got a lot we've got a lot more because they've added in skeet skeet one and skeet two and you've got cylinder and you've got modified which is half choke, improved modified which is three quarter and four which is in this country, it's not 40, it's 35. 35 on four. So you start, up, start off a little bit different. But again, so, you know, anything to confuse the poor old gunsmith, eh? <coughs> Especially if she's come from England. Okay, any questions? Oh, yes, another thing. If you, if somebody comes along and says, I want my choke sorted, whatever, don't get hold of an adjustable reamer and shove it in from the muzzle. Don't get any reamer and shove it in from the muzzle. Now, I've, I've, seen, I've seen some that's been done where the gunsmith has gone in from the muzzle. You can't, you'll get, you'll get a go all over the place. If you're gonna open a choke, buy proper choke reamers, 
mount them on a proper choke bar, on a choke, choke bar or, or you know, with a turnkey type handle and go in from the back end, from the breech end. And if you do do them, make sure you don't get any rips in the choke. Normally with chokes it is to ream them out with ream them out with a reamer as near as you can and finally lap them or hone them out to size. Now you you should you should they should be parallel. It's no good uh, this is a choke, shall we say? Wrong way round. Okay. Um, that's that's right, like that. Comes in like that. That is the choke. This choke should be this uh, this portion here should be parallel. You don't want a choke that's like this and and trumpet shaped so that's no good that's how they should be uh, another thing while we're on barrels i don't believe in opening for lengthening forcing cones you'll get a, get a lot of people they'll you send you the, they'll ask you the length and forcing cones now you can buy the reamers for that uh, i don't like doing it um, it weakens the barrel, and not only that, long for nice long forcing cone. You, you can get if it's a two if it's a two and three quarter inch uh, chambered gun, you can get a three inch in there because you've lengthened the forcing cones. So, or if it's a two and a half, you can even get a three inch in. So, yeah, and you're weak, you're taking metal out where really you want metal. I don't believe in it, and they swear blind, it reduces recoil. I don't believe it. Uh, I don't have any appreciable amount anyway. Um, another thing, you'll get people coming along and saying they want guns backboard. Well, I mean, they want, they want a gun that's 729 in the bore, taken up to 740. I want to reduce the recoil, this thing hurts me. Well. Tell them to go away. Don't do it because it invalidates the proof marks. If it's a decent gun, straight away you take 10,000 out, your proof marks are invalidated, lowers the value of the gun because the proof marks are invalidated. I, I, I won't do it. You know, it's a quite kind of common thing over here. And, I mean, it, it weakens the barrels, it's, it's bad practice. Um, Someone else I was going to touch on. Um, I forgot what it was now. So, don't, you know, tell these guys to go away. Let's, if somebody else is willing to do it, let, 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 let them worry about it. 